But um, apparently the indictment uh, strengthened his hold on the base. So this actually was confirmed by Axios, too, um, that he raised five million dollars in 48 hours. And in 24 hours, um, more than 16,000 people volunteered to help on his campaign. And that type of volunteer work is, you know, like canvassing, door to, uh, you know, cold calling, um, you know, uh, everything campaign related. They really put a lot of juice into the base. So. Former President Donald Trump's presidential campaign said it received five million dollars in donations and sixteen thousand dollars. I mean, sixteen thousand new volunteers in the 48 hours after Trump was indicted. An unnamed Trump official told Axios that the former president raised an additional one million dollars on Saturday on Saturday on top of the four million dollars that the Trump campaign said it received on Friday. More than 16,000 people also signed up to volunteer on Trump's website in the first 24 hours after his indictment. Axios reported, citing Trump's campaign spokesperson. Volunteer activities listed on the website include poll watching, canvassing, door knocking, event volunteering, and making calls. Uh, I mean, it, it, from what I can tell, Jason, uh, Donald Trump really doesn't have the support of the establishment. I mean, like, they're still on his coattails because of the base, but... um. I mean, they already don't like him. And what more do they really need? Like, do we really need more charges, more indictments? You know, like he's already been, um, what's it called? He's already been impeached twice. You know what I'm saying? He has this indictment and then just his whole history um, of, uh, you know, just conning people and stuff like that. It's just, I, I are they are they going to shun him? I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Trump was indicted on Thursday by a New York grand jury. The Manhattan District Attorney is investigating a hush money payment that Trump's personal lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen paid to a porn star, Stormy Daniels, on the eve of the 2016 election. Trump is expected to surrender and be arraigned in New York tomorrow. So we'll see. How, we're going to see how that plays out. Trump has, in the last few weeks, been fundraising aggressively. Even before the indictment was announced, he raised one and a half million dollars in three days from grassroots donations after wrongly predicting that he'd be arrested on March 21st. He was just a little early. That, that's all there was. He, he, he was just a little bit early, you know. <laughs> Um, after he was indicted, his campaign continued to solicit donations and a flood of fundraising emails seen, seen by insiders. So this was confirmed. The messages framed the Manhattan investigation as a witch hunt and political persecution, urging supporters to be a founding defender by sending cash. One such email invited supporters to sign a thank you card to Trump's family, then asked for donations. Another touted a white T-shirt with the words, I stand with Trump as a reward for a $47 contribution. Uh. More than a quarter of these contributions from the first time donors and the average sum was $34. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, man, people people still love this dude. And it's okay, of course he bragged. He outraised them all. I outraised everybody. Trump isn't the only politician raising funds off of his indictment. GOP Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri, my home state, and the National Republican Con Congressional Committee also sent out donation requests based on the indictment the New York Times supported. The Democratic Governors Association and other Democrats, Democrat PACs, have also broadcast fundraising messages. So, of course, I mean, everybody fundraising off of this shit. Absolutely everybody. What up, Bernie fan? What up, everybody? But yeah, no, nah, this is just... <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but yeah, hey, hey. I mean, the dude, the, the dude is on his way. But again, I mean, he just... He 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 lacks the uh, independent support that he's going to need to carry him across that, that the, the general election finish line. Um, I, I don't think that he can beat Biden in a general election, uh, at least from what I've seen. I don't think so. Um, but the Republican nomination, uh, you know, unless he dies or something, he's pretty much got that in the bag. But either way, I mean, even if he were to run run third party, like what it would, pretty much no matter what happens, the Republican Party is screwed, at least in this election go around. They are. 